What's going on guys and welcome to another video. Now you're probably wondering why I'm sanding this spoon right here and if you're able to watch the previous video then you probably know that I'm gonna be painting my girlfriend's PC, the mini ITX case and I'm gonna be painting it pink. Also I've done research about uh, painting specifically about uh, using spray cans and the first step is to sand the object so that the paint would stick much better and yeah that's what I'm doing here. So I'm using a 1000 grit sandpaper. This will also be what I'm going to be using for the the actual case. Also, I wanted to find out whether or not you should really sand the object before painting it. And so what I did was, well, the spoon on the left was sanded and the one on the right wasn't. And so based on the photo, I'm pretty sure that the left one is looks much better. With that being said, I'm ready to go ahead and paint the case. So the first step was to remove all the front panel connectors that could be easily removed with the exception of the LED because, well, I think it's hot glue gun to the actual light colors that's on the front cover. So yeah, I wasn't able to remove that, but the power button, the reset button, and the USB ports, I was able to remove all of those, which was fortunate. And then I went ahead and sanded the whole case. Well, the parts that were going to be painted at least. Feel free to read the news as I send this case. Moving on with covering the parts that shouldn't be painted on, I went ahead and used newspaper and masking tape. Well, I guess I really should be using like painter's tape and all that, but masking tape was the material that was easiest to get because I already have one, so I went ahead and used that. Before moving forward with spraying the case, I went ahead and put the spray paint on warm water for a good 10 minutes or so. I read that this warms the paint and increases pressure, which helps with having a much finer spray and an even finish. Now that I'm done with all of the preparation, I'm ready to go ahead and paint the case, starting off with the primer. Now, the primer is so that the actual paint that we're gonna use will have a much better adhesion. Also, if you notice, I probably didn't do a pretty good job at protecting the floor from getting paint, but yeah, I could have used more newspaper. I also dripped sweat on it by accident, so really if you're doing the same thing, be careful when you're doing it. But I was able to fix it later on, and I just continued priming it and sanding it between coats. I think that really helped with the outcome, with how it looked like. It looks way smoother than not sanding it. Here's how it looks like after priming it. Moving on with the actual paint, I sanded the primer first before applying the paint. I was actually skeptical to sand in between coats because I thought I was gonna ruin the layer of coat but when I actually did it, I had a good understanding on why people actually do it, like sanding in between coats. And so yeah, I'll just continue painting this case.
Hey what's up guys, so this is the front uh, cover of the case, so I decided to paint the Hello Kitty black, so it's a combination of black and pink. The original plan was to leave it as grey with the original color. It wasn't really that good, so yeah, I covered it and then I painted it black. It really uh, looks better, if you'd ask me. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. And yeah, I just want to put this update in the video because, well, it's cute. I do hope that the cuts I've made were good enough to make sure that the Hello Kitty is, well, well shaped when I take off the, the tape. So yeah, hope for the best. I'm just gonna leave this to dry until tomorrow just to make sure before I put on top coat on it and yeah. So far, I'm loving painting this case. I might paint more case in the future, but we'll find out. Right, so it's time to remove everything and unveil, unveil, yeah, unveil what it looks like. The black Hello Kitty. No! Oh crap, what happened? It left some bits on the... And the thing that sucks anyway let's see what we can do about it hmm so it's over there and it's over there i learned another lesson here don't put on the newspaper too tight really if i want to fix this i need to sand it ah oh, that sucks the newspaper stuck there there and there well i learned my lesson it sucks but it's there can't do well I'm not gonna say we can't do anything about it or we can't do anything to bring it back but we can do something to fix it and that's what I'm gonna do so yeah I'm just gonna update this video when that's done could have been worse I really screwed up on this part right here see that it's pretty ugly but yeah, at least I learned my lesson, but next time I'll be doing this, I'm just gonna paint the whole part, whatever color I want it, and just slap a sticker on it. <laughs> Still, it was a pretty enjoyable experience though. Yeah, I encourage you guys to try things out as well. Don't be too afraid to make some mistakes, and yeah, enjoy the process. The black mesh metal thing that's on the side panels, uh, those were already black but I figured I was already painting it so why not repaint the whole thing and it definitely looks much better. I mean when I first got it, it looks like there were some scratches on the black mesh. Repainting it really was worth it. The last and final step was to apply top coat to protect the actual paint, the pink color that is, from any outside damage or elements that could ruin it. I applied two, I think two to three coats of paint if I can remember that correctly, but I don't know, I think that's just comes down to your preference, but yeah, I did like two to three coats of top coat and it turned out to be good. To be honest, I'm really satisfied with my first attempt here, although I did make some mistakes, but I'll be bringing those mistakes whenever I try to paint another case in the future. And so, yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video and if you guys are curious to see what your case would look like if you were to custom paint it with Bosni spray paint. This could give you an idea on how that will look like and yeah I encourage you guys to try things out as well like painting and well pretty much anything that you want. You only have one life and yeah subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and I'll see you guys on the next video.